Hello ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me today. We are going to have a quick look together at uh, Power Automate conditions, right? So when we talk about conditions, w uh, you probably all know that, uh, you know, conditions is something when we try to compare things, right? So if a specific variable is less or greater or equal to something, then do an action. Uh, and uh, if we compare string variables, we would probably compare like if something is contained within a string or, you know, some other things. Also, when it's possible to add uh, condition groups in uh, Power Automate. So what are condition groups? Let's say we have a, we have a flow when we have to compare based on multiple different things which are easy to be combined in logical groups let's say in one group we would add something uh, like a location and a language right if we have a multi um, multi-language uh, company and if uh, something also is based on a number of tasks in a specific bucket in the planner would be another logical group together with a number of team members in a specific channel to which this uh, planner is connected. Uh, I know it's not really, really logical, but you get an idea. The main thing to remember is that you can have, uh, you know, you, you can add those multiple uh, things together, combine conditions into groups and also specify them in a flow. Uh, let me show you what I mean. If we go to the to the uh, flow center right now, I create a simple flow. It will be an instant cloud flow, meaning that I'll, I can, you know, I just do it a manual trigger, and uh, I give it a name. Conditions, right? Uh, then I create the flow and I see here there is this trigger. This is always the first part in any flow. And then as a next step, I can uh, look at different controls and one of those control right here is condition. And you see conditions, I, I need to have a value, right? So, you know, if I had some, some, or, uh, some things already here, I would compare this value, right? And here you see the list of all conditions. So it can contain, it can be equal, not equal, greater, you know, something like this. Starts with, ends with, does not end with. So these are all logical uh, conditions. So let's say if my username uh, starts with, where does it start with? A, right? So this condition will apply to all users whose name starts with this letter. And also there is an option to add a row, right? So mm, I can combine this condition uh, logically. So let's say here I would select user email um, is contains um, let's say I work with, with, with uh, multiple domains and I have a domain called kvg.com, um, right? Or something like this. So this will be applied, right? This condition will be applied to all users whose name starts with A and user email has this part in the domain, right? And right i can also select or condition and i can specify which of them them should be applied right either one condition or mm, two conditions so in this case here we would work with a username that starts or this condition is satisfied right so one of them sufficient then the flow would, uh, you know, whatever action I specify would uh, would work, right? And also here I have an option to add a group, right? Then it would be a different um, 
uh, right, a logical group that is uh, included into this condition, right? So let me, um, as an example, show you, let's say, uh, location. Do I have something like, uh, let's say country, right? Country equals to Spain. Spain and uh, uh, and uh, row, let's say, what do we have here? And city equals to Barcelona. Then this is a bit more complex condition and uh, let's make it simpler like this. So <clears throat> in this case, it means that this condition applies to all users, right? Which whose name starts with A and user email contains this domain and they, their country location is Spain and their city location is Barcelona. So basically these four things have to be um, satisfied to, um, you know, uh, for this part, for this block, yes, action to take place. So that gives you an idea about conditions, right? How to work with them. One thing to, to summarize one more time, you can add condition groups or you can have conditions which you can combine using logical operators and or so the logic can be quite advanced and um, you can do pretty granular things here. Also, if you look here right under settings, uh, you can also uh, track different properties here. We are not going to go into track properties for now, but just wanted to show you that there is an option to track properties. And uh, yeah, that's it. This is condition blocks. That's something that uh, is very useful in every flow. You would have conditions. So um, have fun and uh, enjoy experimenting. Enjoy learning. Have a great day. Bye bye.